Hi Haven students, this is Mrs. Huber. I'm here to help you with a quick video on how to complete your course selection worksheet. I'm gonna share my screen to show you a few things. <clears throat> this should look like the course selection, we, I call it a worksheet that you received in email and through the mail. You can see at the top, I have the word or the, the numbers eight minus six equals two. That is something I want everyone to fill out on their worksheet. Um, but I want you to look at the body of the email right now or the body of the worksheet right now. Those are the courses that you are required to take. <clears throat> For example, this student was recommended to take a credit of English, a credit of history, a credit of science and two credits of math. At the bottom, they were also required, every ninth grader is required to take Fundamentals of Family and Consumer Science and PE. All together, this students, in this student example, they were required to take six credits. There are, <clears throat> you have the opportunity every year to take eight credits total. This student is taking six. Therefore, this student has two um, spaces in their schedule two credits worth of space to pick electives for. I want you to take, to look at your worksheet, add up the number of courses that you're gonna be required to take in ninth grade and subtract it from eight and put that number up in the upper left-hand corner. I wanna see it exactly like I have it up there. I look at every single student's worksheet and I need them all to um, be done in this way so that I can check them quickly and for accuracy. When you have that number, circle it, and then we're gonna to go to the other side and go elective shopping. This student um, put an E beside the courses that they want that equals two credits. <clears throat> Between the back side and the front side of this paper, it should add up to eight credits. So the student chose fundamentals of design, a half a credit of intro to theater, and one full credit of Spanish one, that equals two. And those are the first choices. If that student gets all those courses on the front and the back, they will have a full schedule. However, uh, from time to time, it, it happens that students don't get their first choice. Uh, <clears throat> in that case, the computer needs to grab something else to put in that spot in that student's schedule. Therefore, we're gonna ask you to create a whole bank of choices that you would take if you couldn't get your first choice electives. We call those uh, classes alternate, alternate classes. So after you've chosen your uh, major choices and you have all your E's done, I want you to go back to your um, worksheet and put six credits worth of alternates. In other words, classes you would take if you couldn't get your first choice. After you put all your six credits worth of alternates in there, I want you to go back one more time, one last time, and rank them from one to however many you have in the order that you would prefer to have them in your schedule. The reason I'm asking you to do this is because when I work on these schedules, if I have a problem with your schedule and you can't get one of your electives and I have the opportunity to give you one or another, I wanna know which one that you would prefer. Um, <clears throat> otherwise I'll be calling you at the beach or on, uh, you know, at the mall or wherever. In this way, I can move forward and quickly resolve any conflict you have in your schedule because I will know what your preferences are. So again, just to review that quickly, add up the number of courses you're required to take and subtract it by eight and do show that math up in the upper right-hand corner. Circle the number of electives you're gonna go shopping for. Go to the other side, go shopping for electives. Put an E beside the number of credits that you're allowed to have to add up to eight. <clears throat> Go back again and pick six credits worth of alternate electives that you would take if you couldn't get your first choice electives, then rank them. That concludes the process. I will ask that you send this worksheet into the school. You can drop it off, you can mail it, um, you can scan it and email it to me and I'll print it out here. 
Um, but we do need that copy by February 11th. If you have questions, please contact me. Um, Haven students, I don't have as much contact with. I have very little contact with, but I'm still your counselor and I still wanna walk you through this process next year if you're returning to the high school. So again, my number is 717-898-5631. And my email is Lynette underscore Huber at henfieldsd.org. Good luck with everything and I wish you the best.